Hey, it's Mr. Leatherwood. And Ms. Mitchell. And today we're going to talk about Aryan Perimeter. I love Aryan Perimeter. You do. I really do. <laughs> I like Aryan Perimeter. So let's define Aryan Perimeter before we get playing, I guess. So, area. How would you define area? Mm, that's a good question. That is a good question. Um, well, if we think of some real-world examples, that might help me. Okay. I've got this bulletin board over here. See my, my bulletin board in my classroom, my cute monster. So what would you, the monster's the area? No, but he is cute. Yeah, he so is. So I just wanted I to make that. note of that. Now the area is going to be like the inside of my bulletin board. Um, so the orange paper? The orange paper. Okay. Yeah, so the orange paper would be my area. So, so you could say um, maybe the inside of a 2D shape. No? 2D. 2D? 2D. Two-dimensional. Two-dimensional. <laughs> So the, let's say the inside of a two-dimensional, ooh, spelling. Let's just do D. Okay, 2D <laughs> shape. Okay, ooh, that's not a good E. All right. All right. And then perimeter, any idea what that is? Well, I have a feeling it's going to be the border it in is. that picture. Yeah, which is also cute little monster hair. No, oh, I can't it, see it. Yeah, you can't. It's not really close, but that, <laughs> yeah. So the perimeter is going to be the distance around my shape. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? So yeah. distance. You know how I remember perimeter? I would love to hear. Because in the word perimeter uh -huh. is the word rim. Oh, like look at there. around the basketball yeah. rim. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's cute. All right, so now we know what it is. Area is the inside, so all, here, I'll do a different color. Good idea. Yeah. The inside, all this orange space, my little monster, my procedures, our bullying poster, all kinds of stuff. Okay? And then perimeter is going to be the distance around the shape. Mm -hmm. I good? like it. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get rid of some stuff here. Oh, looky there. Perfect. So let's play a little. See if I can, oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, well, I can see the monster here now. Yeah, see, monster, monster here, okay. <laughs> so we've got this, say I wanna, I have this in my, my room. Chances are we're gonna lose our portables next year, right? <gasps> And no. we'll, be, we'll be back in the building. Say it isn't so. I'm excited about being back in the building. <laughs> so next year, I want to hang this same bulletin board. It looks pretty. It's clean. It's just magical, if mm -hmm. you will. It is. Yeah. So I want to figure out how much paper I need to purchase and how much border I'm going to need to purchase to make the exact same one. Okay. Okay. Have you measured it? I have measured it. Okay. Okay. And this side over here, let me point, this side right here. From this to here is six feet. Okay. Okay, so Let's it's write that. six feet. Okay. And then let me grab a different color. From here, this bottom, from there to there is gonna be eight feet. Okay. Okay. And then I know it's a rectangle, so if you the opposite sides are also the same. So this is... You know, that's really handy information. It is handy information. Because when you only get the value of this side, like 8 feet, you can go ahead and already label the other side yeah. if it's a rectangle. Yeah, which is nice. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and label over here too. Good. So pictures and labels. You know, I think with perimeter and area, pictures and labels are the way to go. It really is. I, th I think every time I do an area or perimeter problem, I go ahead and draw it out. I do too. Yeah, even if they don't ask me to, I just think it's easier oh that way. Yeah. Same Z's. Yeah. <laughs> so, so for area, for instance, I want to buy this, purchase this paper, or go to the room, go to the little workroom and mm -hmm. grab some paper. So I need to figure out this inside portion, this orange. Mm -hmm. So to figure out area, how would we do that? I heard that there's a formula on my formula chart that tells me how to find it. You're exactly right. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Do, 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 do. I'm going to put this over here. It's the Looky best there. friend, the It BFF. is. Okay, so. Do you have the back oh, side? Oh, I don't have the back side. No, Not, that's what see, we See, that was so cool. 
Man. But Faith just handed us one. Oh, that was nice of her. Isn't that sweet? Thanks, Faith. So Faith was nice enough to give us a chart so we don't get to put on the, the little screen here. But area, here, we'll make it a little smaller and I'll write it underneath. Okay, area. So area. Ooh, it gives me two formulas, though. Uh-oh. But we just discussed that it's a rectangle. Uh-huh. So that formula is area equals length times width. Okay. And length we can do L and mm -hmm. width. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We don't need to write it all. So length times width. Um, now, here's a common question I always get. Which one's length? Which one's width? Yeah, I get that, too. Yeah. Does it matter? Is there a correct way? Um, it doesn't technically matter Okay. which one you label which. Technically. I've all, I'm have i kind of old old school, I guess. <laughs> I've always done the longer side for L, so my length is always the longer one. Longer length, length. L, L. Yeah. I get it. So it doesn't have to be, but that's kind of what I've always done. So if we fill in our area, our length, if we do my little longer method. So L would be 8, and my width would be 6. And hopefully we know 8 times 6. Our area would be 48 what? Square feet. Ooh, good one. <laughs> I've run out of room. 48 feet squared. You know what that little two, how we can remember that little two? No, but I'd love to hear. Because it's a 2D shape. Oh, very good. 2D so shape. So area is 2D, so we put a little two for the square. I like that. It's a good way to remember it. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Okay, so we know our area. Got the so, orange paper. So we got the orange paper. I may go green next year. I hear it's soothing. Mm, I'm no? more of a blue purple lady. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got to figure out our border. Our little monster stuff here. 48. 48? Same thing. Same thing. 48. How'd you figure that out? Mm, I'm just guessing. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. So <laughs> we're going around. So really, I always think of it as walking around the shape, like if I was an itty-bitty guy walking around my little border. Okay, yeah. So, so here, let me get my itty-bitty guy. Oh, gosh. Okay. So here, we'll make it a little thicker. Okay. okay. So here's my little guy. Hi. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to walk around my shape. So you're walking six feet, and then yeah. you're walking eight feet, yeah. and then six feet, uh -huh. and then eight feet. And then I'm done. I walked all the way around. Ooh, so, I'm starting to think my answer of 48 might not have been right. Well, you know, mm. it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> just just saying. So I walked my six feet, right? Yeah. And then my eight feet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then my six feet. Mm -hmm. And then my eight feet. Mm -hmm. And then we had our total. Okay. Okay, so 6 plus 6 is 12, and mm -hmm. 8 plus 12 is 20, and 20 plus 8 is 28, right? So you were so, so close. So close, OMG. So far away. So, so they're not always going to be the same. I mean, they're not no, the same thing. Not always. I guess sometimes. There could be an occasion, be. Mm -hmm. but not in this occasion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have 28 feet. Just feet. Just feet. Because you just walked. I just walked around. Yeah. Right? It's just a measurement, walking mm -hmm. around. But that's not what the formula on my chart says. I don't know. What does your formula say? It says that a rectangle perimeter equals, but leave that there. So I'll we leave can it compare. there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe make the picture smaller. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, You can yeah. still see it. Perimeter equals. Okay, let me, let me pen here. Okay. Perimeter equals. Two times L. Two times L. Plus. Plus. Two times W. Two times W. I'm now, looking. I know parentheses mean you're going to do it first. That's right. So that's important. Yeah, that is important. So see, it doesn't say the same thing. So what well, do you guys say about that? Well, way? let's fill it in, okay? So we're trying to figure out our perimeter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The two is going to stay there. Okay. I remember L is my length, mm -hmm. okay? And if we look at our little picture up there, it my, was eight. It was eight. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to add two times my W, mm -hmm. which was six, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So then I'm going to go back and do this math. So two times eight is 16. Mm -hmm. And two times six is 12. 12. So if I do 16 plus 12, correct me if I'm wrong, do we get 28 feet? It's the same thing. It is the get same out. thing. Isn't that crazy? Get out of town. I'm getting Just get out of this portable I'm right going. now. Peace out, yo. 
But wait a minute. Oh, okay. Before you get rid of that. Uh-huh. I'm kind of seeing something. Okay. The reason that you multiplied 2 times 8 is because there were two eights. Because mm -hmm. two sides of the rectangle are the same length. Right. And the reason you did 2 times 6 is because there's two sixes because the two sides are the same length. Very good. That just, makes sense. Just like we talked about earlier. I like it. Isn't that snazzy? Yeah. All right. Um, we can get rid of that picture, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's do another one. Sound good? Excellent. So we have close and near to dear to my heart. This is a volleyball court. Yeah, it is. You see that? Mm -hmm. So this is our volleyball cart court, excuse me. And I know from coaching that this distance here is going to be fifty nine feet. Okay? So my distance from here to here is fifty nine feet. My distance from here to here is roughly 30 feet. It's actually 29 and a half feet, but we'll round to 30. Okay. Okay. So 59 feet and 30 feet. What we want you to find when you come into class is the area and the perimeter for our volleyball court. I like it. Think they can do it? Mm-hmm. I think so too. Okay. Good ha luck. Have fun. We'll see you in class.